China made history this year when it became the first nation to land a spacecraft on the far side of the moon, the Chang'e 4, named after the Chinese goddess of the moon, touched down in early January. And it gave us this, humanity's first image of a territory previously uncharted. That would be the start of many firsts, such as this attempt at growing a plant on the lunar surface. In just over a week, the U-22 began its operations to delve into this part of the moon never visible from Earth. For us, the far side of the moon is mysterious and distant, but we have always hoped to go there and see what it is really like. This is a very good beginning. We are building a powerful space nation, and this is an important symbol of that. That journey to building a powerful space nation began in 1970 when the Dongfang Hong 1 was launched on a domestic rocket, making China only the fifth nation able to launch a satellite independently. A little over 30 years later, in 2003, came the Shenzhou 5 mission, China's first manned space flight. China remains only one of three nations to independently launch an astronaut into space, or in this case, a Taikonaut. 2011, Tiangong-1 went into orbit. This experimental space station was designed to last just two years, but continued to provide data for more than twice that. Now, China aims to build a research station on the moon within 10 years. It's also planning to launch another space station, the Tiangong-3, by 2022, and is even inviting European researchers on board. Gerald Tan, CGTN, Washington.